Hi and welcome back to Really Do It Yourself. Today we're going to learn how to make a perler bead box and a perler bead coin box. So as you see I've ha I have one started here. In order to make a box you need six sides. You need front and back, two sides, and top and bottom. So I'm working on the top right now. My square here is 16 across, 16 down, and with the outside is going to be a 17 perler bead box. So let's fill that in. And as you see, I've already allowed for the little coin slit. So now I'm going to fill mine up with white. I've added some confetti, so I've already placed those. And now I'm just going to continue to fill this one in. I like to put my beads in my hand and work this way. You can also work with the little tool that comes, a little tweezer. Looks like this when you buy your perler beads. I find it a little bit on the tricky side sometimes, so I just like to do it with my hands. As you see here, I've already filled my box in. Now I'm working on the outer part of the box. So now you want the top and the bottom to match the pattern. So you see here, these two sides are going to match. They're identical, and these two sides are identical. So I've already started. I already did the top and the bottom side. Now I'm going to do the two sides. So you want to make sure that they're exactly the same on both sides. So here we start with the one bead on the end, one bead on the end, the same thing on the other side. So basically your top and bottom are the same exact patterns, your left and right are the same patterns, and your front and back are the same exact patterns as well. And now in my pattern I've skipped two boxes, so or two pegs, so I've skipped two pegs. I think it just makes it easier for me to work with two pegs as opposed to one peg. On smaller boxes, you might not have enough room to skip two pegs, so you might want to just do the one peg. But basically, this is what you're doing, the same thing all the way around. Oops. Now, sometimes what I like to do when I do my boxes is make sure that they're identical. So put one on top of the other and make sure that they're the same size. Perfect. And also what you want to do before you iron is you're going to check the patterns and make sure that they're going to fit perfectly. As you see here, it'll fit perfect. Um, then what we want to do is we want to take parchment paper that comes with the perler beads and you want to put it right on top. I do it right on here. Take a hot iron, and what you want to do is you want to iron the piece. So once everything is together, you want to start moving the iron. As you see, it's very hot. You see how it's, you can see that it's becoming almost clear. You can see the pattern. So you want to make sure you do a few seconds. Go all the way around. Okay, so that side should be done. Now what I like to do is, and it's a little hot, so be careful. So I like to turn it over. Place it down, and then I'm going to take another piece of parchment, and I lay it right on top, and I do this exact same thing. Make sure that all the beads are sticking to the paper, and then you want to peel it off. Now, while this is still hot, I like to place a heavy object. Sometimes I do a textbook. Right now, I'm just going to place my perler bead box until it sets just a little bit so that way it's nice and flat. You see how this is flat? And some of them 
like here it's just a little warped so you want to make sure you keep it on something heavy for a little bit now we're just going to move to attach the box so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put my sides this is my other side but before that i want to show you the pattern that i've started with here as you see here i have three here on the edge and then i skipped two i did two skip two did two so you're going to follow this on the sides all the way around it's the exact same pattern regardless of which way you turn the other side you're going to skip one start two skip two start two skip two do two skip two do two now this pattern you're going to follow all the way so you have an empty bead in the front and an empty bead in the back here of each of the lines when you turn them over okay so that way this and this will fit nice and perfect see how you see the box already forming and we're going to take this piece here and then we're going to take the last piece here We're going to take our bottom piece and you want to make sure it's going to fit perfect. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Now let's say you wanted to leave an open box. Then instead of leaving this pattern up here open, what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the top line. So that way it's completely closed. It'll look like this, but on the top. But what, since I said we're going to make a coin box, we're going to close this one. Now, a lot of the patterns you see out there have a little space, a little gap here, which makes it easier for you to open and take your coins out. I don't like that. I think that children tend to open the boxes and destroy them. So I leave them without the little, the little gap. I feel that once you close them, the, you tell the parents how to get it open. It's pretty simple to get open. Now, you want to make sure you go around. Okay, make sure everything fits nice and tight. And what you could do is you can actually put the piece of parchment right over this and iron it nice and tight. So if you want to iron, you didn't get it, you want it to be flatter, you want everything to be perfect, then you just go over it so that it closes nice and tight. can always finish that later now it's a little hot that's why it's moving but you see there there you have the perler bead coin box already set and ready to go now the only thing here is if you want your pattern if you do a pattern and you want this to be in your front you want to make sure that when you do your top piece you align it where your pattern is going to stay on the front where the slot is not going to be to the side and your pattern is going to be on the side okay so there you have that one's the spike lean box we have here the little tiny box, and this is the same exact way. So here, let's see if I can get this one open if it behaves for me. Oh, I open this way. So you see, you don't need the little slit. They're pretty easy to open. And here we have an emoji one. And I've already started to open, as you see here. They're very easy to open. Once it's set nice and hard, I'm very easy to close back. Now, before I forget, I found these beautiful patterns that you can use to draw out your design from candypatterns.com. And it brings a grid like this, or it brings the smaller grids. So what you can do is take it, draw your design, before you actually go and do it and make sure that everything is good, which I've done here for this little box. Okay? Make sure to subscribe. Follow me, Really Do It Yourself, on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed.